the UI has changed, the sound and music controls have been improved, and a new speaking event is added. My name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 59 of my devlog series, Attila's Trek. In an attempt to make the game feel a little bit more polished, I worked on making the UI consistent. And that basically means just making it look kind of the same. Now the research marketing and speaking UIs, the three major mechanics, now have a similar looking and feeling UI design. All of them are now on one single screen, which is what I want, and they are very similar in their layout. The speaking UI is a little bit different since its functionality is kind of not really similar to the research and marketing, but the overall feel of it is the same. With working on the UI, I kind of fixed some bugs and just ensured that the button functionality worked correctly because I wanted them to change colors depending on what was going on. Yellow is selected, blue is in progress, and green is complete, but it works differently for each mechanic. For example, the marketing campaigns can recur, but the research upgrades can only be completed once. So I needed to ensure in my code that that was accounted for. I feel like I'm changing the UI every week, but I feel like at this point, the major changes are pretty much done and it's just gonna be minor changes from here on out. I am really happy to hear that you guys like the sound effects that I started to add from last week. So this week I added a few more, including a leecher hit and shoe sound. Yeah, I know it's delayed, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Although with the sound this week, I'm more so focused on the back end programming of it rather than the sound effects themselves. Now all the music and sound objects under their respective parents will be stored in a list which will all be changed with the sliders. The sliders that is for the volume control which is in the settings menu. That code in itself is pretty clean but I'm still kind of new to the whole don't destroy on load functionality which I want for my music because I don't want it to abruptly stop and start across scenes. And so working with that has been a little bit difficult for me to grasp my head around, especially whenever assigning the slider to that object. I'm going to keep looking through my Humble Bundle and other sound asset packs and make sure that I can find some good sounds for the other effects and make sure that they're not too annoying. Besides game development, one of my biggest passions is martial arts. This week, I'm experimenting with some variations of some standard kicks, just trying to make them look a little bit more cooler and flashy so I can eventually put them into a new form. I'm trying to rest my leg from more intense kicks like 540 kicks, but I can't stop myself from training completely, so that's what I did this week. In addition to changing the speaking UI, I added a new speaking event, which is Alien Palooza. No Carl, not Llama Palooza, Alien Palooza. For the speaking events, you can choose whatever event you want to plan and you can actually alternate between the different events. They will all occur every year regardless of if you plan them or not, but you just might not save lives if you don't help out with the event. Since I only plan on having three speaking events, the UI was looking a little bit barren and empty as opposed to the research and marketing UIs which have a lot more buttons. So I took some inspiration from the fabulous BW dev and added some icons for each speaking event. Like I said, with the regular UI, I'm probably gonna keep making some tweaks to this just to make it look a little bit cleaner, but I am liking how it's turning out. Name a better and more fun word than Palooza. I'm gonna guess that you probably can't find one, but I am excited to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed and are itching to play Space Prevention Force, you can actually play the demo on itch, linked in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I want you to know that I love you, I care for you, and I am there for you. If you need anything at all, my Discord messages are always open. From me and the commanders, we are saying goodbye, and we hope to see you next week for some more fun. Bye everyone. Bye, everyone.